Good evening and welcome fellow patricians to another episode of Let's Play Patrician 3. Right, well... Let's, let's hire that administrator. This is not something you have to do, but it's gonna make my life a little bit easier because, well, frankly, I can't be asked. So we'll sell uh, to the town for a minimum price of... Um, 40 and we'll purchase from the town for a maximum price of 450 uh, to a stock of 100 we'll sell to the town our stocks of uh, pig iron Uh, let's make that 900. I'm guessing at these prices. There is a guy that gives better price overall, but um, that requires L tabbing, and that this game does not like L tabbing. Let's let's keep it at that. All right, so at least that will be taken care of. Now let's make some more money. And there were elections in Lubeck. I'm not on this list because I am not in a guild. I could join a guild if I have the money. But I don't have the money. So I'm not in the guild. And time flies. Alright, so we have wages. We still not have enough rent in this place. It is going up slightly, but well, new people are not quite coming in or they're not getting the goods they want. Alright. Right, the captain has gained experience, so he wants a raise. That's fine. We've made a loss. Well, that's not great. And the crew is upset for some reason. But he has gained experience in trade, so that's nice. making losses is not fun now part of my wealth is invested in well, buildings essentially so that's partially why I built that merchant house and I'm resisting the urge to build other stuff but Not easy. Alright. I think I'm doubling up on stuff. Yeah. Just transfer from office 50 goods. Alright. That should help. Um, it's already been three weeks. Alright. Can I join the guild now? Yeah, let's join the guild before it becomes more expensive. That'll also help. Alright. Now, while it is almost 75% here, do keep in mind that this house is currently at size 2. Um, you kind of want to have, make sure your, all your houses are at size 3, otherwise it's just not worth it. Yay, we made profit! Alright, 
it well. I should consider building some uh, some stuff, some uh, buildings. Now, there is another game mechanic in that towns can become under siege, at which point an army will show up and either approach from one of three sides. And they may or may not ransack the town. What do you do? Well, you can't really do anything. But it is, however, usually a clever or smart idea to not put all your production buildings on one side because any production buildings they, that an enemy army will come across, they will raise to the ground. Which is an incredible loss for you. But too bad. Because the town is not going to help you with that. Alright, I'm going to start building my own uh, supplies. Or my own bricks. My own wood. And another brick maker. Put a brick maker over here. It doesn't matter all that much where you put it because goods will get transferred around normally anyway. The 81 beggars, this. Uh, most industries take about 30 people to work efficiently. So I can just about set up another one if I want to. And uh, the only thing I could want to set up is a pitch maker. Now uh, let's do that. Alright, so in production. Let's see the town consumes um do they consume pitch not really but businesses do two pitch is being produced so currently there's a deficit which means there's a gap in the market for me all right ship trade and they made some decent profit again Alright, so now these businesses are operational. The woodcutter, uh, well, sort of operational. The brickmaker needs timber to make bricks. Don't ask me why they need that. Because they're certainly not making the bricks out of wood. But they do need it. Similarly, the pitch maker needs timber. Now this one I sort of understand because they need the wood to stoke something. Uh, so that they can make the pitch. I'm not entirely sure how pitch is made, so I'm not going to guess. You can tell me if you want to, but I probably won't really uh, care that much. I just know this business says it needs timber, so we'll go with that. Alright, so now that is done. Alright, so once it has the people, it'll start taking timber. And if I look at the stock of goods, I produce uh, that much timber. I need this much timber. So currently we're not making all that much stuff, but we get more people in town and there's less beggars on the streets, so that's good. And I'm still not making money on this venture. Now, there is a uh, method to my means that I can make sure that I have plenty of grain and fish stored up so I can sell it back to town. At the moment, this is not strictly speaking necessary. Uh, let's see, the town produces uh, some grain, some fish by itself. It doesn't do much right now because it's winter, so the water is frozen and the fields are fallow. Well, they still made profits. Alright, so they are still waiting for more people to arrive. That should happen soon enough. We should be producing enough now.
maybe not, but things are in motion. Oh, I don't need 15 people. I guess enough closet. Lots of businesses do need more. Like the sawmill, for instance. Oh, do the people know me? Yeah, hardly any of the wealthy know me. Could do more for the town, perhaps. Do they need a new well? They could do with a new well. And since I have the goods for that, it only costs me a little bit of money to build that. But wells don't make me money, so... Alright, as long as it's not one of my ships, no, not seeing any of the flags. Alright, well, we know that Staten makes beer, so... Let's add that to the list of stuff that I want. We'll buy, let's say, a hundred beer for the maximum price of, four, not for the honor to forty-five, forty-five. are still going quite well so I need to stay on top of this you know what let's uh, fund the extension a bit I mean you do see it a little bit in this particular window if you've upgrade if you donate it and stuff Right, and again we have lots of beggars in town. Hmm. Yeah, the people are not getting the goods they want, so that's a concern. also something of a I'd love to but I saw your letter too late all right so now we have some beer in the office which will be selling promptly way oh no that's not uh, the yeah, the banker the lender rather I can we have a loan so I can grant loans um let's not take a too expensive loan let's let's take let's offer this loan at a normal rate Suitor, are you interested in getting married? For a small sum of 3,000, I could arrange a meeting with an extremely good looking young lady of excellent standing. Well, I'll accept that offer. Let's have a bath to celebrate. Alright, we're getting to the end of February, so soon the lands will be fertile again and we can actually consider going outside. when you reach the trade status it's usually safe enough to start really investing in building industries and stuff currently there's not much going on here the members is Olaf Magnus an inexperienced merchant 
And Olaf, he's not married, he's 37 years old. He's represented with a trading office in two towns and his trading fleet counts one ship. Yeah, they need meat. Church could do with an extension, yeah, well. Shipyard is free. But it says that it's free. Alright, so I want to make a, a crayer. That requires hemp. Other than that, I seem to have most of the stuff aside from cloth, but cloth is not being made here. Um, you know what, let's just get a little bit more money if I can, please. The lady in question is the lovely Maria Sass from Edinburgh. She looks like an elf with that headdress. In case of a marriage, her father would give her a very large dowry. Well, I'll accept the offer. 2nd of April. Alright, so now I need to go into debt a little bit. So, let's just sell all the pig iron. Let's uh, get some grain in stock. Some fish. Fish. Some wine. beer on board I'd love to get some meat but that requires that I actually have a ship capable of getting some meat I really want to expand my fleet. Alright, well, the Hansa's doing stuff, but I can't get anywhere near that, so... Let's just ignore that for now. Alright, come on, get more people in this place. already gone. All right. Yeah, honey is just too expensive. Hmm. I suppose I can get some salt. Uh, to be totally honest, I don't. I never really entirely sure what I need. I just need lots of consumables. Now, beer, I probably have enough of, uh, provided I can sell it all. Fish and grain, I might have enough of, but I, again, I'm not entirely certain. I kind of don't want to stock up too much on that stuff. Uh, wine is probably fine. I really could do with some meat. That's really the only thing I'm lacking at the moment. And the marriage is tomorrow, there's no time for me to go further, so... Yeah. So... It's uh, only a moderately successful, although only 503 guests came, some of the food and drinks had run out shortly after a short time. Yes, I'm certain they would be happier than Dowry. Alright, so we get a Snyker. Which, where is it? It's in Edinburgh. With some grain and skins. Well, 
Thanks, Dad. That was really worth it. Alright, that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.